So what I wanted to do today was actually do a couple of things. Um, one is that um, for people who have FOP, and um, as, as many of you know, the chest wall can be significantly affected. Uh, and it's really important to have a pulmonologist on your team. So at some point, being able to be seen by a pulmonologist, being seen uh, by a medical team who can help you sort of with the planning uh, is, is a very valuable part. And one of the items that we sometimes recommend uh, is what we call spirometry, where there's formalized testing of how well your lungs work. Uh, and this is, uh, we're, we're not talking about really complicated things, we're actually talking about a tube, which I'll show you a little bit about what we have here today. Um, but what we want is an opportunity to measure how well those lungs are working and to follow that over time. And when this actually starts really depends on uh, a lot of the clinical um, features, and so this is not something that, that we uh, necessarily want you to do immediately, but this is something that you and your doctor will, will need to work together on. What we wanted to do today was actually very briefly show you two items. One, uh, one is uh, well, it's called a peak flow whistle. That's this item over here. Um, oh yeah, so uh, this is never a good sign when you're really big up on the screen. So, um, um, so, so this is the peak flow whistle, uh, and this is actually for children. And I'll show you a little bit about how that works. And this is actually the uh, incentive spirometer. And um, I'm going to have Kelly come up in a moment. And you, you don't need to come up quite yet, but um, for the incentive spirometer so that she can help explain exactly what we're looking for. Um, so the general goal for anybody with FOP is really to take deep breaths. Okay? And so the idea is not, it's not the exhalation part that we're interested in. It's the inhalation part, is, is making sure your lungs are expanded as much as possible. What that does is it opens up little pieces of airway down at the bottoms uh, or in the back where that might be a little bit crimped because of the positioning. But by opening that up, that allows air to come in. It gives you more oxygen, but it also prevents infection. And that's what we're interested in. In kids, trying to get kids to do incentive spirometry is not very easy, uh, and because I'll show you that in a little bit. But what we have are these peak flow meters. And so these peak flow meters are actually normally used for asthma. Um, they are designed to measure how fast you exhale, not inhale, so how fast you exhale. And the idea is when you blow on it, you will get a whistle. So um, I'm going to set this to the very bottom, and hopefully this will work. <laughs> okay, so you get, you get, a, you get a whistle that, that comes out if you blow out fast enough. What we generally recommend is, um, so what I noticed is that in, in this package, it comes, uh, you won't be able to see this, but it comes set at 340, which is sort of the, the higher end of um, the peak flow. And what you want to do is actually turn the green part and hold on to the, the, the purple part and turn it down so that there's a number that says 100, I think it says 140, 140. Uh, and there's a little arrow that points down to it. Don't lock the arrow. We're not using that, um, so you don't want to slide the little piece down. Um, but what you you just, it's okay. It doesn't really matter what you set it at at this point. Okay. The idea is going to be to take a deep breath, hold it for about you know as deep as you can, hold it for about 10 seconds, and then blow through this. So it would be. Okay, and then just try to blow through. This is great for kids. Um, I use it with my four-year-old um, for, for other reasons, um, but he basically just goes around the house blowing it, and, and you will probably hate me for this afterwards. So I will apologize now. Now, um, for advanced users, once you get used to this, what you can do is actually turn this up a little bit so that the numbers you know, becomes like 180. And so what that means is that they have to blow a little bit harder to get the whistle, okay? The goal of this is not to torture somebody to trying to get the whistle, trying to get them to blow. The, the whistle is really just an incentive. Again, the idea is to make sure that they take a really deep breath and try to expand their lungs as much as possible. Uh, and so this tends to work really well with kids. The second one, I'm gonna have Kelly come up um, and help me with this one. So um, this one um, is an incentive spirometer. Some of you may have seen these before. 
Um, I will be the victim and I will blow on this one and Kelly will explain and point out a few things. But on the incentive spirometer facing, when you hold this, you, you use it in this direction. When, you, when you're looking at this, there's actually a um, little uh, meter here uh, which will go up when you take a deep breath. So the idea behind this is not to blow out through the incentive spirometer, but to hold it in your mouth and take a really deep breath in. That's why I need Kelly to explain this because I won't be able to talk at the same time. Um, or I'm not supposed to be able to talk at the same time. Um, so what you want is you want to lift up this smaller, um, um, I guess, meter. And, and it says good, better, and best, okay? You want it at best because the idea is not to bring it in really fast. It's really lung expansion, as much lung expansion as you can. Um, and what will happen is this one will go up and you're trying to keep your flow rate sort of in between um, in here. Um, at, for the first couple of times, it doesn't really matter what you do. Um, just as long as it's somewhere in this range, that's fine. Um, and what will happen is that there's a white piston on this side that will go up to tell you how much volume you've inspired. There's a little slider on this side that allows you to set sort of a target. Um, don't worry about that right now. But what you would want to see is you want to take as deep of a breath as possible. You'll see the white piston go up and then you'll be able to set this to where exactly that was. And that's your goal. That's the idea of being able to try to inspire um, as much in as you can. Now, um, yeah, so okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I just need you to Perfect. For, for all of those things. Okay, okay. So, all right, so the idea again is exhale, then put the, the, the end into your mouth and then inhale through this as slowly as possible. I'll see, it's been a long time since I've done this, so hopefully I'll do it right. This way? No, I don't think so. <laughs> we'll try this. We'll, we'll, so, if this doesn't work, I can. I'll be around, and so I can help out. So we can see that that white piston is rising nicely. And being so, so that's somewhere around here. Okay. Right. So again, exhale. Let me just point this one out. There. Yeah, and then you can see on the left that we're getting into the best zone here, which is ideal. And the white piston is rising again. Okay, so the idea behind this is not speed. It is not trying to make a sound or anything like that. It's really a slow inhalation. And this short piston just goes up a little bit. And then this white piston will go up. I, I, I don't know how it turned out. Did, 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 it, did it show up on the... Yeah, okay, all right. So, um, good luck with these. Um, I am, thank you, Michelle and the IFOPA for distributing these because these are actually vitally important. Um, as many of you know from the clinics, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so as many of you know from the clinics, there are many alternatives to this sort of strategy. If you like to sing, if you like to yell at your siblings, you know, things like that, that's totally good from our standpoint. We apologize from the parental <laughs> standpoint, but the idea really is deep breaths, really trying to oxygenate as much as you can in the lungs, really expanding the lungs as much as possible. So, yeah. Yeah, so, um, especially the whistle blowing. So um, as often as you think is tolerable, but um, it's really, uh, what we generally do is five to 10 sessions at a time. So five to 10 inspirations and expirations at a time. Um, this V is coming up because it probably means that he has other recommendations, but I think, I think the, really the idea is to try to do it on a regular basis. Um, certainly every day, certainly you know every couple of hours would be ideal, especially to, if you're in, in a wheelchair, you're not able to move, you know, or, or bed bound. Um, it's basically a process of trying to make sure that you expand your lungs. You know, on a day-to-day -day basis when we're walking around, it's less of an issue, but I think um, it's really for those people who um, are, are not as mobile.